Hi, hi, friends. Okay, here it is. Another down and dirty, no fluff, what sold. This is for eBay, okay? It's kind of hard to like keep track of everything that sells out of a booth, out of my two booths. But this is for eBay, because as you know, I've gone back this year and fluffed up my eBay, and it's doing pretty well. well let me go pull that up. I'll put myself over to the side, and we'll go take a look real quick. Like I said, down and dirty, no fluff. <laughs> okay, so I've got it pulled up. Okay, yes, that's me, Mile High Scene. So what I did is I'm looking at it as if I was a buyer and someone was looking at my store and they looked at everything and then they toggled on the side to what sold. They wanted to see what I sold. So everything might not show up. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, when you're looking at it, someone else's, and that's the way I'm approaching this, sometimes you won't always see everything and i don't know why that is and no one i've talked to seems to know why either it probably doesn't matter anyways so this sold so this would be june july august yes i think june july august because it goes 90 days so i hope some of my better sales are still on here i hope it's not too late okay anyways this was cute this is a little salt and pepper shaker so you can see robert wilhelm for bounds this is about four inches there it is but you can see it's signed right here okay just so you know and you guys watch my thrifting videos you know i don't pay very much for things but, so i thought that was pretty good what was it 20 just for one that's just for one Oh gosh, I don't do a lot of the liquor. I know, I don't do a lot of that, but this was just the box. And what it is, is these are artist collabs, okay? Mine, you can get a little bit more for these. Uh, mine had a few condition issues. But it was artist collab. So that's why I like to sell these. I will do that every once in a while. I've gotten up to $100 for certain ones. So it's a pretty interesting little genre. I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Hendriet Quimper. <laughs> but it's a French teapot. This sold, I think, within 48 hours. This was part of a closeout deal that I bought from someone. Let me see if I can show you. There. There's what the bottom looks like, you guys. There. So. There you go. I thought it was one of those Turkish in ink, in ink, if I'm saying it right, I N something K, but no, it's French. So that had pretty good value. And that went for 68. Okay, here's the Simon Pierce. Good, that's still here. It wasn't that long ago. This, I've talked about this a couple times in thrifting videos. And some of you said, what is it? What is it? So you do want to know this name, okay? Simon Pierce, that's how you spell it. P E A R C E. Um, because there are other items. Now, this is a newish company, but the quality is there. And it's sold in like higher end department stores, gift shops. And this is one of their pretty popular decanters because it's special aeration for your wine. And there's a signature that is etched on the bottom, okay? So, this is one of their more famous pieces. I mean, you can still go buy one, but it costs well over 100 So that's how I was able to get 98 and it's in good condition. They saved about 50 or $60 versus buying it brand new. I included a picture. Oh, wait a minute. It's $195 on their website. Probably depends on where you buy it. I think they sell it at Neiman's also, you know, department stores and such. But... Fancy people like that, okay? So, and you might want to go look at some of the other things that they that they make. So you know it. That's what I do. So that was great because I think I paid like six ninety nine for that. So that was great. Whew, I've been cherry picking my eBay room as I fluff up eBay. There are lots of things in my eBay room that I just have been saving because I knew they really didn't belong in my booth. They certainly did not belong on whatnot. Um, and sometimes I might bring them to a sale, but typically those that come to my live YouTube sales, you guys watch my thrifting videos and you see me pick things up. And if you wanted it, you would have already hit me up. 
So sometimes on higher priced items, because that's not really my gig on my live YouTube sales, it's more, you know, affordable things for you guys to build a box, right? Um, so anyways, this, so a lot of things end up in my eBay room and I just hadn't got to it because I wasn't paying attention to eBay. So this was one of them. This is a Corningware pattern that is still good. This one right here, the blue cornflower. And there is proof. I think I took a best offer of 50. Yes. For all, for all four, but that's still, you know, that's a great, there you go, birthmarked in there. But that's a great ROI. I thrifted these years ago. I think they were like $1.99 a piece, something like that, you guys. So that's interesting. Okay, now this I just got. This, you guys didn't see me buy this. I might have talked about it once. They had it for $35, $34.99 at one of the thrift stores in town that's a little more expensive, one of the little charity ones. And I was like, oh, I just can't. I mean, I knew Arabia, Finland. I knew that was good stuff, but I just, I just couldn't bring myself to pay up quite that much. I know, I know. It's just because if it gets brokered in transit, which is very probable <laughs> these days, you know, you're just out. So there goes profit on a couple more items. And I said to myself, you know, I know this thrift store. I know the people that kind of come in here. I've seen before when they price things too high that it just sits. I'm going to take a chance. So I did. I waited and it did make it to a sale. So I got it for about 15-ish. What, 17 something. So there you go. And it is a little bit more scarce pattern. So it's sold within a few days, I believe. And... Let me try to get it bigger for you guys. Most of you know Arabia, Finland, right? You hear other resellers talk about it. This was a beautiful piece. It was large. And I'm hesitant also on large platters. It's kind of a shipping nightmare. Shipping costs extra because you have to protect them. So the box has to be like extremely large. But anyways, it was great. So that was just not too long ago. What was the date on that? July 21st. <laughs> I don't even know where I got this mug, but <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. I can't remember. But mug life. I think I took an offer of 18 or 20, you guys. This is a 50s or 60s 60s cartoon. Yeah, Pogo by uh, Walt Kelly. Okay. Hmm. Mug life is fun. Hey, this is fun to talk about. Let me pull this up. What did I get? $88. Okay, anybody watching Yellowstone? Anybody watching Yellowstone, right? So I found this. Let me pull the picture up and get over to the signature. I don't, okay. Four Sixes Ranch, Panhandle, Texas, that says. Wait a minute, let me hold it still. You guys see that? And there's the artist's signature from 1984. Well, if any of you are watching Yellowstone, which I do, I'm a big Kevin Costner fan and Kelly Riley and so I'm a fan. Well, I think was it season two, whatever, they sent that one young man for extra training and they sent him to Texas to the Four Sixes Ranch. So I was like, oh, hey, that's a real thing. <laughs> I didn't even know that. It's a real ranch, a, a real working ranch, apparently from a long time ago. So I bought that. Uh, I think it was like six or seven dollars. And I said, let's just see what happens. And that's what happened. It sold pretty quick. Just a little pencil, what, pen and ink drawing. Interesting, huh? What did I get for that, $88? I mean, yes, $88. Ha, huh. so that's fun. That's the kind of stuff that makes picking fun. Okay, so here comes the fire and light. I already did a fire and light update. So there's that. I took an offer of 110 for those. You guys heard me talk about this when I found it. This was super fun. What was it? $1.99 or $2.99? And I took a best offer of somewhere around $60 on that one. Yes. That is a vintage Terra Sancta. Terra Sancta Guild. I currently still have a candlestick by them. I think I got it listed. This was fun. Just a unique fiesta. Don't do a lot of fiesta. But this one was unique. What did I get? $33.60. 
There it is. Cappuccino cup, and I think that's retired. And that was a good color, okay? Oh, look at this. 148. This is a real Jonathan Adler. A lot of times we'll talk about, you'll hear some of us, well, I say us. When I say us, there are so many YouTuber, reseller, thrifters that I don't even know about. I don't have time to watch them all or I haven't met them. So when I say us, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, the people that a lot of us tend to watch, you know, you'll, you will hear us talk about Jonathan Adler. Well, now Jonathan Adler does a lot of stuff like a diffusion line and he did a gig for Target. Now this is his main line, so that's why I got that much for it, okay? This is the House Terrazzo Globe Mod Vase, and that's from his website. I want to find how, that's the bottom, yeah, not, not that big, but about like this. So I didn't pay very much for it at the thrift store. I said, ooh, that's a Jonathan Adler main line, so please know that. Because there it was, just sitting at the thrift store. And some of you might remember this. I paid $14.99. That's getting close to paying up for me. But I'm getting better at it, at being comfortable. I double boxed this. This is a down under pot. It's so beautiful. Let me pull it up because I added a picture in here uh, from their website of what it looks like. Did I do that? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Maybe this one will... Let me make this bigger and scroll it and move it over there. Okay, so see, that's how they hang. They hang upside down and your plant grows from the bottom. Okay, so they're very popular. They look gorgeous. Some of the pictures I saw when I Googled it, because I, I wanted to see how other people were using them. Um, so cool. So I think that took about seven or eight days. So I found that $14.99 still new. So $120. There's the more fire and light. We've already covered all that. <laughs> this is cute. This went out to a viewer. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm not going to pull that up because I'm noticing addresses aren't coming up, but I'm noticing buyer nicknames are coming up. But that went out to a. There's the Ralph Lauren. This is the Glenn Plaid, right? Yeah, the Glenn Plaid. So that's a good. That's a good markup. That was just two of them. <laughs> so. Oh, the jeans are still here. Yes, that was the beginning of summer. You guys, the R13 crossover jeans. Look, <laughs> I took an offer of 250 or 260. What I had to pay up for those two, almost $30. You guys remember I was whining about that, but I'm like, I got to do it though. I hope they're legit and they were legit. And the buyer was legit. This was one of the times that I did take someone's name and address and go cross-reference to see if they were legit and it is a somewhat this person is well known in New York so the sale was good I felt comfortable the sale was good these are very avant-garde jeans <laughs> so and I think new they cost about five to six hundred dollars <laughs> oh you guys I know I'm always saying pioneer woman no 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 whatever I'm not even gonna defend Okay, not this one. This one it was bought right away and they never paid. So I relisted it and there. I think this is the one. No, it was the other one. It was the other one because I took a best offer of 120. So that went out to 120. This one I paid up for too. I paid 24, 25 dollars. Becky actually found this vintage Viking treasure. She actually found this while we were thrifting and she doesn't do eBay yet. So she didn't want to deal with it. And I was like, oh man, I don't want to either. And it's pioneer woman. Ah, but I just knew from watching other resellers that there were a few rolling pins and a few other pieces that went viral to get extra money for. So I got 120 for that. That was good. Well, that might be all. It only goes back so many days I think there's a couple things missing but that was fun so you can see I fluffed it up I put in some higher end items and it just started having sales right away so I feel pretty good about eBay <laughs> all right you guys that's all that's all for now I'll do these every few months okay so I hope that was inspirational all right you guys thanks keep your love alive and I'll see you on the next video or in someone else's side chat 
Bye for now.